Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is René Brandt, I'm international product manager in Rapul and very happy to be here today in our breeding station Gola in Poland and happy that my colleagues Tomasz Mikulski as one of the breeders from the Rapul family and my colleague Artur Kocera from Rapul Polska have time to discuss a little bit with me about this uh, very interesting uh, trial platform for nitrogen efficiency. Arthur, you organized uh, this uh, platform already since uh, 2017, so uh, you have already a big uh, database uh, for uh, trial results, for observations. Please uh, explain us a little bit more about what do we see here? What what can we find here in the field? Yes, of course, uh, you're right. Uh, we organized this platform from uh, 2017 and we have a lot of different uh, data. And now uh, this is next season. You see here uh, different our trials. Uh, we uh, test the different factors. First, our factors to test this are different sowing dates. In this year, we have two sowing dates. This is optimum uh, date. This is uh, beginning of September and ultra late. Uh, sowing date this is uh, 20 September and this is first factor the second factor we test the different uh, doses uh, the doses of nitrogen of course uh, I speak about uh, spring doses yeah. of nitrogen and uh, the third uh, factor uh, that are uh, six uh, different variety when we observe uh, this variety in different situation different sowing dates of the different levels of uh, nitrogen fertility and in this year we have special uh, special uh, special uh, plots for a late uh, harvest uh, this is next uh, point and uh, uh, next uh, new uh, in this year uh, we test uh, two different bacteria products uh, and we observe reaction plants uh, of uh, these products experience over so many years what did you observed in that time of base our trial here uh, we observe that the farmer in Poland use or I think not only in Poland maybe in Europe and in Europe uh, use uh, too much uh, nitrogen and uh, general the farmers use between 180 or uh, 180 to 200 in, uh, nitrogen uh, per hectare and from our experience from the trials we know that in this uh, soil condition like here in uh, in station in uh, Gola uh, this uh, the optimum uh, dose this is around uh, around 150 160 uh, 60 kilogram uh, nitrogen per hectare in uh, spring application of course different variety react uh, in another way and this uh, optimum dose is of is of this level yeah. thank you Arthur Thomas um, we are here in the middle of uh, this uh, um, uh, yeah of your breeding field, I would like to say, and you have here more than 4,000 plots for performance testing of new candidates, which can come up probably in three, four years to the Polish market. I'm curious, how much nitrogen do you use for your uh, uh, plots here? How much do you fertilize? Um, we try to systematically reduce the nitrogen here in all plots in the west part of Poland. Uh, the problems with nitrogen uh, are clear on the market in Poland, like in the Middle East uh, Europe. That's why uh, we believe that systematic uh, breeding and reducing a little bit uh, uh, nitrogen, um, we will um, get uh, the some uh, breeding progress and uh, in the future probably the new varieties will uh, take uh, or better manage uh, uh, the nitrogen and uh, that's why I make uh, very good yield in the future. Thanks, uh, thanks so much. Um, Arthur, you said uh, that uh, um, yeah, Polish farmers uh, here in this area, but you make also this um, uh, link to, to Europe, they use too much nitrogen. You said here somehow the optimum dosage 150-160 kilograms. So if I uh, calculate that a little bit uh, with what they normally use, so that is then probably 20-30 kilograms 
too much so they could reduce uh, they, there's a potential of somehow 100 euros what they can make more profit yeah. based on your experience um, that is yield um, I'm also curious what is about oil content can you also give us some experience regarding oil content yes of course we of course uh, each year you observe the content oil in the different uh, varieties what do we see uh, when in uh, when, when we observe this uh, nitrogen doses high uh, very high uh, nitrogen doses it's mean a uh, low level of uh, oil content in the plants okay. and better is find the compromise mm. between a level of uh, nitrogen uh, dose uh, in spring uh, fertilization and uh, this uh, this is good way for uh, uh, high uh, content on uh, oil, oil in the plant and average uh, content oil in the plant from our experience is uh, between uh, 43 40 uh, 40 uh, 44 percent uh, oil okay interesting um Thomas. Um, nitrogen efficiency now a very hot uh, uh, topic uh, for for the farmers uh, based on this point that the, the energy price is so high um, there is a discussion sometimes if they are able to get nitrogen um, can you tell me a little bit more what breeding can do for uh, yeah, to support this uh, successful nitrogen efficiency what can you do to improve that uh, I think only systematic uh, breeding in different uh, countries in different locations and uh, sometimes really with uh, uh, quite a lot of stress location like the South Hungary or uh, uh, locations like in the Baltic states uh, where we uh, um, have uh, quite early winter make us to think about what we can do in, in, in breeding in, in that stage and uh, uh, I think uh, that start really from sowing. So the plants have to be very good prepared for winter. So have to produce quite a lot of green mass. And doesn't matter what is it. If, if this is here in, in West Poland or is it in the Baltic states or is it in South, South Europe. So then uh, the management of the uh, of the nitrogen in the, in, in the plant is quite important. And uh, uh, to check it really in uh, a lot of locations, uh, a lot of environment, and then put together the data and choose the best uh, varieties which can uh, better manage uh, um, low uh, content of nitrogen. Mm, okay, but uh, let me go one step more. Um, there is also this discussion uh, um, that we uh, lose uh, more and more these uh, different fungicides. So uh, disease resistance is also a very uh, important fact. What can you do here regarding plant health? Of course, uh, healthy plants, good prepared plant for the winter is the plant who uh, we can expect more, more yield. So, uh, uh, of course, we in different locations uh, in uh, Rapul, Rapul uh, Kreis uh, of the breeders, we can uh, select uh, uh, a lot of variety for uh, for different diseases like Foma and Verticillium, for example, in German and in England for Cylindrosporium, but also in Poland for Sclerotinia. So it's really um, uh, low nitrogen. Uh, Managing in the plants really start from the beginning, and this is quite a lot of factor of what breeder can uh, um, uh, can can really select on C and to 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 to, to take or to select the best variety. Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you, Thomas. Arthur, last point. Uh, um, yeah, um, when we look now a little bit ahead, new season is uh, somehow in front of us. You are already uh, um, traveling in, in, in Poland. You have your events uh, with your customers already speaking about uh, new season, new varieties. Uh, we have uh, new candidates uh, coming. Uh, they are in the pipeline for Rapul Polska. Just to mention some uh, Janosz uh, Kromat. Uh, there is really some interesting material. Um, what are your observations? What is so interesting on these new candidates? 
Uh, the, the new candidates, when I observe this, uh, this, this uh, variety on the different locations in Poland, uh, now in the Atom I see these are very vigorous variety, the both. One, of course, uh, the Chromat is from the segment Klabrut varieties, and second, this is a uh, no conventional uh, hybrid, and of course, both uh, with uh, virus resistance uh, gene. And uh, in my opinion, and I, when I look of the results from uh, previous, uh, previous uh, from this last 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 year, uh, uh, this uh, are very good uh, results, and uh, we if, uh, we think that we ha we will have uh, in beginning next year the positive uh, uh, opinion and registration for on site uh, Tsoboru and uh, we I see very big chance for the both uh, variety on the Polish uh, Polish market in the moment uh, are in very good condition, very vigorous, uh, robust, and uh, now I am very happy from this uh, this uh, plants uh, and observe my observation observation from the field. Mm. Both uh, candidates have the uh, same uh, mother line, so they somehow the same genetic background. Maybe a last uh, word from your side, Tomasz. Um, what is now interesting or so different on this new generation, uh, like Janosz, uh, Komat, Texas? Yeah, that's, uh, I think it's uh, uh, good. You, you, you told us very good that uh, it's some kind of new generation varieties because uh, we uh, try to uh, to combine a very good uh, uh, yield uh, performance, but also uh, oil content for, for boy hybrid is very very high, and. Um, uh, we we combine, of course, as uh, I told, uh, told us, uh, uh, virus resistance, uh, and uh, I think both of these varieties uh, have uh, quite good uh, pot shutter resistance. What is uh, really important here in the west part of Europe, uh, Europe, uh, if we east part of Europe as well, if we have uh, here some um, problems or, or quite strong rains on hail and so on. So I think. Uh, I'm very optimistic, and I think uh, uh, that are very, very good products. And um, as a breeder, I can uh, uh, tell you that uh, both varieties I had it, uh, two or three years in my uh, my yield field, and they perform uh, very well. So um, I cross the finger for uh, Menage that uh, they will bring <laughs> yeah. the varieties uh, really good on the market, and the farmers will be really happy to work with us together. Colleagues, um, thank you very much uh, for your time and for this uh, small discussion. I wish you all the best now, uh, Arthur, especially for you, for your winter uh, season, uh, <laughs> for your traveling and all your events. Uh, also for you, Thomas, here for a good uh, season and then successful harvest in 2023. Thank you very much again from my side. Uh, Thanks. Yeah, if I can summarize that a little bit, uh, yeah, this uh, trial platform for nitrogen efficiency here in Gola is definitely one of the most exciting one in our pool family, already running since 2017. We have heard a little bit optimum dosage for uh, a rapeseed uh, in uh, nitrogen, 150, 160 kilogram. Something what we can also confirm from other trials on other locations. Uh, oil content, Ardua explained that very well, is another point where farmers can make uh, extra profit out of a uh, somehow reduced uh, fertilization. Yeah, we also have heard a little bit that with Janosch, Chromat, new uh, um, interesting uh, varieties are already in the pipeline to somehow to push uh, uh, the performance and, and the rapeseed market here in Poland and also in the other neighboring countries. It was a big pleasure guys. Thank you very much and uh, all the best to you. Thank you very much. Thank you.